Alrighty. We are back. We're gonna make our way to the inn. I think we gotta go to the inn. I don't think he'll fight us right now. Even if we wanted to. We could go ask him. We could also talk to Ball Guy. Come up and say hi. Okay, he's... He doesn't give us stuff. Midnight oil, are we? If you're here for a gym... Okay. Fair enough. Fine, fine, fine. So, we're looking for Barascuda to carry us. Oh, it's Marnie. I want to know what the little Pokemon that Marnie has. It's like Franken Pikachu. Uh, Challenger Solia, right? Out giving it your all even this late, huh? Hey, help with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. All right. Wicked. Got some fight in you, huh? We need to stop fighting inside this person's hotel. It's highly rude. Can we at least go outside first? Krogunk. Oh god. My Pokemon cannot deal with a Krogunk. Because he probably has dry skin, which means that water probably heals him. Oh, I didn't actually heal my Pokemon? Oh no, I fought after I healed them. Whoops. You don't- oh, you do have psychic moves. Well, it's your time to shine then. Because psychic moves are going to be four times effective. We also need to give you an item. Venno shock. Ow, holy potatoes. Oh, that was a crit. Alright, hit him with the side beam. Oh, he has sucker punch. Oh, come on, man. Really? If that first move hadn't a crit, I don't think he would have been able to kill me. Oh, there goes my brand new Pokemon, already dying. I needed to train him up. He's like my lowest level at the moment. I don't know what a Morpeko is. Uh, it sounds like a flying type. Go, Darren. <laughs> Hit it with electricity. What are you, Morpeko? Okay, you don't look like a flying type. Uh, he might be electric type. He kind of looks like a Pikachu. I think this move will express my feelings. What do you think? Bite? Well, that sucked. What just happened? He became angry? Alright, well, I don't want Darren to die. I don't know how this more Pekko Pokemon works. But he looks very upset. Okay, we'll slow him down. Alright, he's back to happy mode. I don't know what types he is, so I guess we'll just hit him with... Sure, if Leaf Tornado hits, that would be good. It did not hit. Alright, well... Does he just- is it just every turn he switches? Has nothing to do with if he hit him or not? Did not lower his accuracy. We could use Synthesis. Which I think it might be the play, actually. Cause he's not doing 50% of our health.
Alright, let's see if we can actually kill him now. Okay. That thing was very annoying. I still don't know what type it is. Hey, Darren leveled up. Scraggy. Well... What do we want to fight him? Probably need to make sure that our main Pokemon gets closer to evolving. I would guess he evolved with 36, like most starters. It'd be no fun if things ended just yet, that's why we aren't giving up. Well, this doesn't seem very good for you, but whatever. Kick him! Oh, that did not do nearly as much as I wanted. This is what happens when your starter Pokemon is a really bad nature. You could be five levels above this Pokemon and hit him with a super effective move and not kill. It's just highly unfortunate. You beat me. Guess you must not be bad after all. Guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You'd better get to sleep too. Ooh, rah, rah. Okay, well at least my area is back to life. So maybe we could work on that thing. The next morning. Morning. That friend of yours already went off to the challenge of the gym. Kabu's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed, it's no big deal. How would his lead card help me? Take this too, a little something for our battle yesterday. Burn heals. I already bought some of those. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire Kabu chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motostoke Gym and get that gym badge already? Does she already have it? I quit my job so I could watch the gym challenge. That seems like a mistake. We should probably save up. I haven't saved in a little bit. Do we get to see? Where do we see other people's league cards? Card code. What does this mean? No. Album. How is this supposed to help me beat him? This doesn't tell me anything. Everyone's got like, uh, he doesn't even have a number. But everyone else has, uh, he's number one. <laughs> like he's 189, 187, 908. I picked eight, just the number eight. <laughs> Are everyone else picking such high numbers? All right, let's go. Do 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 do. Did you already win, Hop? You're too fast. Slow moving, aren't you? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on. I bet you could beat the Man of Fire too. Yeah, I would not be surprised. I did bring a water Pokemon. Okay, water Pokemon's out first. We need to give you a held item. Do we even have anything that'll make psychic moves better? Who's the power of bug moves? Grip Claw. Eh. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing really useful for this guy. Oh, that's unfortunate.
I've made it this far at least, but now I'm not sure I can make it any further. Can I really beat the fire gym? I don't know. I was on fire in my battle against Kabu. How do I change into my uniform of my choice? Like, what's the point of getting all these other uniforms? Huh. That's a bug upside. We don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made his gym mission so hard. But I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready. If you're here to challenge our gym leader, we'll ask you to change into your uniform first. Alright. Hopefully it's the correct one, but I doubt it. It is not. What is the point of the other uniforms? I don't understand. Also, what is going on here? The gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you're wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in Tallgrass, or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining in your battles. Think about what your opponent might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Okay. Where are the Pokemon at? Should I just catch stuff then? Oh. This is what they mean by other people will be in the thing. Well, I just might try and one-shot the Vulpix then. Wait, can I one-shot his Pokemon? Roly-coly. Alright, let's see how much damage I deal. Okay, goodbye, Vulpix. One point. Okay, where are the other Pokemon at? What are you? Oh, it's a Litwick. We should actually catch this. I don't have a Litwick yet. You have a Bug Pokemon? Or is that a Fire Pokemon? Fight him. Uh-oh. He might get the kill if I'm not careful. Dang it, that's not fair. His Pokemon's so slow. Well, that sucks. How do I find more Pokemon? Are you a Stunfisk? What are you? Oh, you're a Sizzlebug. I want to catch one of these too. Fake out? You just fake out on me, you jerk. Wait. The guy next to me used fake out on me? What a troll. What are you doing? Leave me alone. He's using all kinds of rude moves on me. Oh my god. Stop. Please. This is just highly rude. Your Pokemon's gonna die. I just need to hit him one more time. What the heck, man? Don't make me kill your Pokemon. I need to just start targeting the other person next to me. That seems to be the strat. Like, ignore everything else, just target the guy next to you and kill them. Well, I caught it. Uh, 
we need to heal this burn. At least we got one of these sizzle peeds. This fire bug. Has there ever been a fire bug before? I guess there was, uh, full corona. That's a fire bug. What should we call it? Hmm. Fire bug. I think we're gonna call him Rory. Roar. Nope. Nope. Rory. There we go. Is that in the. Well, I, he'll, he's gonna replace. Uh, what's its face? This guy is gonna replace. Um, my grass type. I think this is a good call. Uh, place the item in my bag. Two points. Alright, we need to heal this burn, though. Actually, I like the fire guy. He's cool. Oh, we have lots of burn heals. We should probably put the amulet coin on someone. Also, do we we have a bug thing majiggle, right? Stuff to give a thing that makes bug moves stronger. This. Boost the power of bug moves. And then we can give this guy the the amulet coin. There we go. <clears throat> no, don't give him that. We need to give that to the Mulsory. Alright, what now? Is it Vulpix? We need a Litwick. I want to catch the Litwick. So, plan this time. Just kill the Pokemon next to me and then fight the Litwick. <laughs> so, we're gonna dive. And we're gonna hit Sizzle Pete. I wonder if we get XP for this. <clears throat> Fire Spin might actually help me catch him more easily. We just need to be careful not to kill it. Direct Sizzle Pete. Now, does Fire Spin end if Sizzlepee dies? Also, we did not get XP for killing. Oh, you have another Pokemon? Do I have to kill all your Pokemon? I don't know how many Pokemon she has, because it doesn't say, I don't think. Okay, poison will make it easier to catch until it dies. <laughs> so we need to be careful. Get wrecked. This hex hurts. If you could stop that, that'd be great. Alright, so the other guy's out of Pokemon. So we are going to use a Super Potion. And take it nice and slow. <clears throat> so right now we're just waiting for his health to go down. Then we'll start throwing Pokeballs. Come on. Nice. I don't suppose it knocks this gym trainer out when we kill all of their Pokemon. Probably not. Not that it matters, because that should get us to five points anyways. Do we want Headbutt instead of Quick Attack? I feel like Quick Attack's better. Headbutt. 
Headbutt's probably better than Ember, though. Especially since our special attack is so low. Yeah, get rid of Ember. Alright, we got a Litwick. I like Litwick, he's cool. Probably won't use him just because I'm trying to use new Pokemon instead. Clearing Leader, leader Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the Fire Gym Challenge. On you go. Is it even possible to fail his challenge? Like, can't you just keep trying, even if the other guy keeps sabotaging you and winning the point? You could just keep going, right? Maybe you can't. But I feel like they have to at least give you five Pokemon kill attempts. But they probably give you six or infinite, I would guess. Seems really hard to fail, as long as you catch like one. Alright, so the Sizzlepeed thing is not going to be fighting today. But I think we'll be okay. Should be able to just win fairly easily. Alright, let's do it. All right. <laughs> you just got the jogs everywhere. Welcome! I am Kabu, the Fire-type Gym Leader. The fact that you are here means you bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokemon and Nessa's Water-type moves, too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Alright, so depending on how many Pokemon he has will decide when we actually want a Dynamax. A Ninetales? So he has three Pokemon, so we probably want to wait till Pokemon 2 to actually Dynamax. But, here's the problem. Dynamax only lasts three turns, and Dive is a two-turn move which means we can't really Dynamax against the second Pokemon. Please don't Will-O-Wisp. Oh my god. That's gonna cause problems. So we can kill the Ninetales really quick, but we need to get rid of this burn. So we might have to switch out Pokemon, heal the burn. Because I think we need Baro Skewda or whatever its name is. We're just going to call it Veronica, because that's what I named it. Arcanine. We need to switch to a special Pokemon. We don't... We only have, like, one special Pokemon. How strong are you? Can you take physical moves? Hey, you're actually an okay nature. You're the same nature as my starter. You do not do damage. Okay, it's probably a bad idea to send you out. But who can do this, then? I got nothing else. All my Pokemon are physical. That's a problem. I wonder if this guy is physical. It looks like he is. We might not be able to use him, then. Because Darren's special and area is going to be special. So that means we only have two specials. Thinking that you're going to have to do this. Yeah, we can use Headbutt to win here.
So he's gonna intimidate, which is why I had to switch. But it's also unfortunate, I think. Because if we want to win, we're probably going to need our Veronica for the last Pokemon. So we should burn heal now. See how much Kiro can actually tank. Oh, that's a problem. Luckily, Veronica has uh, Aqua Jet. So even if it is a problem, we could just surpass it by being by using a priority move. Granted, Arcanine does get, um, does get extreme speed, which is a plus two priority as opposed to plus one, but it doesn't look like he has it. Otherwise, he'd probably be using it because it does more damage than bite. So we could predict his next bite and swap. Seems like a safe bet. Because with the Intimidate, we're not doing enough damage. Alrighty, pluck him. Oh, really? That's gonna cut our attack as well. This sucks. Since all my Pokemon are physical, the fact that he's burning and intimidating me is making it very difficult. Uh, he's probably gonna kill Burb here. I don't see any way that Burb wins this fight. That's okay, I suppose. Burb is the highest level. So, her not getting XP for this is fine. We don't have... I just gotta let it fall. And then uh, Kiro could come back out without the Intimidate. And win this fight. Actually, we could just send Veronica out now. I feel like Aqua Jet is gonna be enough to take this guy out. Alright, good stuff. So, the plan is Dy Dynamax sent to Scorch. It's probably the evolution of the Sizzle feed that we just got. Hopefully he doesn't have Intimidate. Light that fire and get your mind moving, Kabu. There's still a path to victory. That thing looks pretty cool, actually. Okay, he doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have Intimidate. Oh, it, I forgot it changes the move to something else. Alright, use whatever this Max Geyser move is. I actually like the gym battles in this game, they're really cool. Especially with the Dynamaxing. Alright, he's probably gonna Dynamax as well. Let Gigantamax change your size and form. Alright, that's pretty cool. It looks like a dragon. It looks like one of those Chinese dragons. Ooh. Almost got the one shot. Alright, what are you gonna do? Oh, it started raining? That's so OP, what the heck? Is that the bug move? Okay, that hurt. What did it lower? Special attack, that doesn't matter. 
Alright, use the one with more power points. But this is definitely gonna kill. We could have Dynamaxed earlier, I didn't realize it would make it rain. Because rain increases the power of water moves by 50%. And I forgot that Dive would get changed into a new move. That wouldn't be two turns. The Pokemon gained experience points. Darren's getting close to leveling, or evolving. You defeated Kabu. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. I'm often regarded as the first real road roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you the fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. I don't get why gym leaders say stuff like, I have much to learn. Cause like, he's supposed to be the third gym leader. Like there's a reason that he's the third gym leader, right? Like people are supposed to be able to beat him. Like if you're the eighth gym leader, maybe then anyone who beats you, you're like, all right, that person's good. But if you're the third gym leader, you're like getting beat very often. So you're supposed to be easy. You're not supposed to be impossible to beat. Thanks to Dynamax Phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that isn't or that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be pillars for you to build on. I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Barascuda would be the ones, but still. That match had me right at the edge of my seat, did it? I mean, I guess it is the first time I've lost a Pokemon in a trainer battle. Challenger Solia, I see you... You've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you've accomplished here today. Willow Wisp, ah yes. The, one of the most annoying moves in the game. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. See, I would use the fire uniform, but I don't know how. The fire uniform's probably cool. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you. Starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down into the wild area surrounding the city and make your way to Hammerlock. Okay. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Well, I remember there was a level 30 Woobat. I could probably fight it now, but it's still high level. Still strong Woobat. Oh, what now? Okay, bye. Hurry it up! I'm here! Huh? Oh, hey, it's Kabu. You're the gym leader. But you still came all the way to see us off? I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will be the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never managed to gather three gym badges. And they just give up on the gym challenge altogether, so I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Oh hey! Woo, we made it too! Thank goodness for flying taxis. Congratulations, it's pretty amazing that you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Okay. I don't have the kind of enthusiasm he has, so I'm not going to read that. <laughs> the gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep on pushing. We're going to keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, let's head for Hammerlock. I wonder if there's like 
like how the gym challenge works out. I wonder if there's still people like on Milo, like trying to beat him. <laughs> Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to get even stronger than before. I want to go to that pink light. Hammerlock is up ahead. Got it. Okay, yeah, but did you see that pink Dynamax light? Hey, yeah, you could certainly rush straight ahead there without a single detour. But now that you, we should catch stronger Pokemon. You are correct. That's what I'm going to do. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page of my tale of legends. Don't waste your effort. It's not like either of you two will ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. I don't care. Stop talking to me. I want to go to that purple light before it disappears. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. That's all he ever practices is throwing Pokeballs. I don't even know how he can battle to begin with. More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you find understanding just how weak you are. You're on then. I know you challenged Solia to battle in Galar Mine number 2 and lost to her there. And I'm her greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. Yeah, but you, you haven't beat me either. Neither of you have beat me. Not even close. All this prattle about Solia and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. So, see you later, Solia. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. I wonder if I get to battle him again. No, don't go that way. That's the wrong way. Okay, where's the pink light? Okay, we're going to the pink light in just a second. We're gonna take a pause there, and then next time we'll try uh, the Dynamax battles. I heard that you can... You get filled with CPUs if you don't find enough people. So we're going to do that. We'll be right back. 